Good morning, fellas. Hey, how you back to go, bro? Mm -hmm. Sit the dough up in there. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right, well, we are, we, me and the three bulls, are headed to Hominy, Oklahoma. Got to get on the road at 6.30. Kevin and I got them loaded, thankful for him. It's very helpful, and they loaded pretty good. So um, pulling out of the driveway, I got a two-hour and 40-minute drive. Here we go. I just made it. Just pulling up to the Osage plant. I'm in Osage County, Oklahoma, far northern Oklahoma just outside of Hum and going to the processing facility, running a little late, but uh, it took me a little longer than I expected, but pulling the 24 foot trailer, carrying these three bulls. So I'm gonna pull up here. You guys probably know I can't show you very much of the whole processing side of things, but 
I'm gonna pull up here and I can probably show you the unloading facility and getting unloading these three bulls. But other than that, can't go, can't film inside and nothing like that. But I gotta go inside and visit with them and talk about some business stuff. Just getting here and gonna unload these guys. Stay tuned. Everything went smooth, everything went well. During the summer, I can't do much with the hides, although I'd love to do stuff with the hides in the future. Um, I want to in the winter, they'll be better hides. Definitely the meat, the number one meat. I'll talk to you more about that. I'm gonna head back home, go back to Sulphur. I got a three hour drive, so I'll uh, chat with you when we get home. Thank you guys. Made it back home, everything went good. It's a long drive home. Kind of first time to do this. I know it's not the easiest thing for me to do is to take my favorite animal to a processor but uh, i know i've mentioned this to you before i've talked a little bit about it with the grand canyon slaughtering and i talked a little detail about that but guys here's the deal if we want to see bison populations grow if we want to see the bison world grow then you've got to eat the meat you've got to support the meat and when you do that and you promote the meat and, and all of its health benefits then we'll see more bison that's that's the thing with all of this is that's the key here i always go back to ted turner there's an interview that he has on youtube ted turner owns more bison than anybody in the entire country i don't know how many ranches he has six seven or eight ranches across the western half of the united states montana wyoming i think down even new mexico i'm not really sure but in his interview he talks about one of the important things why he got started and why he got into this was just the healthy side of this meat. Bison have been around for hundreds of years and provided a lot of meat and a lot of essential parts to the Native Americans. We know that and the culture and the history behind that. And we're still living that now. We're, we're still doing that. We're, we're, we're keeping the bison around. It's becoming more and more popular. And guys, it's so healthy. It's high in protein, low in cholesterol low in fat uh, it provides uh, bone marrow which is sometimes cancer patients are reaching out uh, for that and it, I guess it's healthy for them as well as what I've heard and um, I think their doctors recommend eating bison because it's so healthy for them and guys that's the reason why we do this um, my wife and I have tried to put a business plan together and we're still working on it it has taken a while but what I did today it's just the beginning of something that could be a lot bigger i'm about this big on a huge bison scale where there's lots of large producers out there in the united states that do the same thing i'm doing but on larger scales and i'm just about this big compared to those guys but it all starts right here by getting those animals in here taking care of them and processing them that's how we keep the bison around that's how we keep the american bison around is by eat the meat god put that animal here for a great reason and it provides so much to us in a healthy way and so as a bison lover we have to promote the bison that way and when you do you'll see our numbers grow and that's what i'm doing and you know i'm all about growing the herd just wanted to talk to you a little bit about that and why we're doing this we've got some we still got a lot of work to do like i said i'll keep you updated on everything and and the process of it and 
in what we're doing. So hopefully we'll be able to sell some meat at some point. Got a lot of people local in my town and in my county that are interested in bison. And so we'll start there and we've got some other things going, maybe some value added products. So we'll keep you updated with all that. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being a part of this journey and seeing something different on the other side of the bison world that um, you don't expect maybe. I uh, wanna remind you something. We will not be slaughtering any of my main herd members. Dunbar, Big Joe, Flo, Kit, Eleanor, any of them, they will not be processed. That is my breeding herd, that is my main herd, and they will not be touched. That is my foundation herd. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to us and follow us along, Raising the American Bison.